welcome back i've been using these words uh, api api developments and all that a lot of times in the previous video now in this one let's understand what exactly is an api and how does this work well api stands for application programming interface it's a two-way communication between the back end and the front end this communication allows the front end to request data from the back end and the back end will give response to the front end okay so it simply means that the front end can talk to the back end and the back end can talk to the front end okay so if you see this diagram here the client is requesting some data from the server using the rest api okay so the request will be a http request okay and when the server has this data that was re requested by the client the server will now give a http response to the client through rest api okay now let's take an example to understand it better you go to the restaurant and call a waiter to order your favorite food now the waiter will take your order and go to the kitchen and brings back your food that you have ordered right now if you look at this example closely there are three people involved in this food ordering process first the customer who wants the food second the kitchen or the cook who prepares the food and the third is the waiter who serves the food right here the customer is none other than the front end who wants the data the kitchen is the back end who prepares the data and the waiter is an api who serves the data so the api here is acting as a bridge between the front end and the back end okay the so front end is the customer and the back end is the kitchen okay in between the customer and the kitchen there is an api who is called the waiter okay so that's a very simple real life example of how these apis work but technically it's a lot more than just a restaurant example let's take another example assume you are developing an application where you want to show the current weather data now the first thing that comes to your mind is how to collect the weather data from where should i bring the weather data right because we don't have any equipments like we don't have thermometers we don't have radar systems or any other equipment right even if we have those uh, equipment we still cannot collect weather data because uh, we are not meteorologist we are just a uh, common software engineers but our requirement is to show the weather data on the website right that's where the api comes in there are a lot of uh, weather data providers on the internet most of them provide the public api which gives us the response with the weather data mostly in the form of json response okay the only thing that we need to do is we need to simply pass the data time and the location with the api and it will give us the weather data okay simple right so in such cases we can make use of these uh, apis to get the weather data and integrate it on our website okay so that's why api development is one of the most in demand skills that you can have so pay close attention to this course i bet you will uh, definitely become a very good software developer by learning django rest framework in the next one we will talk about rest apis